The only way that we can consistently challenge the body to keep getting stronger and more fit is by adding the proper recovery. This restorative routine will help you feel fresh and ready to crush your next workout. You'll need your foam roller and bath towel for this session. Let's get ready to relax and restore. This episode of Class with Sugar is presented by Volterran. Feel the joy of movement. All right, my friends, are you ready to restore that body? We've got Jenny and Raven here to join you. We're gonna start here on the foam roller, all right? You're just gonna sit on the foam roller and bring in your hands behind your back to give you some support. And you're gonna first lean into the side of your body. You're gonna start to feel a little pressure through the glute and hip here. And you can just kind of keep that here and support yourself either with two hands or if you wanna really lean into that hip, you can take your hand off and really, really press with most of your body weight on the side. Now, a way to advance this one and to get into the hip even deeper would be to cross your ankle up and over the knee. And so that's gonna increase the stretch in the hip and the pressure. It opens it up a little bit. You guys feel that? I already oh, feel yeah. it, yeah. It's mm, burning it. in a so, good way. <laughs> it's a beautiful burn. <laughs> today is about really regaining and restoring your body. So think about the whole time that you're here today is taking deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth and really giving yourself that time to open up. We're spending a little bit of time here because this releases the tension in your muscles. It's like giving yourself a self-massage and not everybody has the money to buy $500 self-massagers or go to the massage parlor every month. But this is gonna be a way for you to get it every single week, nice. okay? All right, so let's switch sides. All right, we're just gonna rotate so you guys can still see us here. All right, I'm just gonna be seated on the roller. I'm leaning into my hip to start feeling that nice pressure, opening it up. And then I like to add that little cross over my ankle because I can feel my hip get a little more stretch there. And then I get to feel that pressure. Here's the key, when you guys are foam rolling, you wanna go slow. You wanna find that point where you're like, ooh, what's that? I feel that pressure, <laughs> get off there, get off there. You wanna hold it there. So when you're rolling, you don't have to roll. You're on a roller and that pressure is what is really releasing the tension. So if you find a tight area in your body, hold it there as long as you can. And that is gonna be how you really treat that pressure and give it that time to release. Beautiful. All right, the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do the upper back. So you're just gonna come off that roller and you're gonna come onto it in the middle of your back here, supporting your head and neck. You can bring your hips up and off the floor a little bit and then you're just gonna roll gently on the middle of the back. Oh, that feels amazing. Doesn't that feel good? Yes. Now you want, to think about, you want to think about kind of curling forward so that you don't arch backwards, that you really put that pressure into the foam roller. And you're breathing, okay? You're kind of taking those deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. The closer you bring your feet to your hips, the more support you'll have. All right, so if you wanna walk your feet in a little bit so that you got a little bit more support and you're kind of curling that spine, getting that nice pressure. Remember, you don't have to go fast. You don't have to go far. You just gotta find where it feels tight and just give it that nice, easy pressure release. Yeah. Found a really good knot back here. Yeah, you can find them. You can find them for sure. Beautiful. You guys are awesome. A couple more seconds. Even if you had your hips down here, you'd be able to feel a little bit of that pressure, you'd be able to kind of like leave it there. Oh, all right. Now, we're gonna come down to the calves. This can be painful for those of you that have never done this. So I want you to first start with this one, all right? And I want you to just put both of your calves on the roller, you got your hands here to support you. And I want you to see if you feel any tenderness. You're not even lifting your hips up yet. You're just kind of like moving your body, rocking a little bit forward and back. Now you can start to get a little bit more pressure if you cross one leg over the other. I don't even need to lift my body weight right now to feel the pressure of this leg and the roller. 
my leg in between feel that. You feel that, Raven? I feel it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Jenny? right on a knot. <laughs> yeah, you find the knot. It, oh, that's it. Ah, I got the knot right there. I just roll over. So find your knot and just let the pressure sink into it, right? So you're holding it there. If you're crossing your legs, cross the other side so you get the other side and you find the other knot. Right? And if you do this obviously more than once a month, you're really gonna start to release the tension in your body and in those muscles. That's why I want you to be doing this at least once a week so you can really start to train your muscles to release and you can stop having those chronic knots in your body. <laughs> Beautiful, remember deep breaths because the more you're breathing that oxygen in, the more those muscles are getting restored. Beautiful, nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice work, you guys. Awesome. All right. So we're gonna move into this last one, which is gonna be for the quads, right in front of the legs. So you're gonna plank over the foam roller. You're supported by the lower body on the roller and the upper body by the elbows. And so here's where you might have to say, oh, okay, I, I wanna go a little bit lower or I wanna go higher and I want you to find whatever tender area you can in those quads. So the front of those thighs are getting worked a lot during this program. You're yes. feeling yourself using those legs. And this is getting blood flow through those muscles, releasing all the tension and the connective tissue that surrounds your muscles. And that's really why most of us are having that pain and, and we're not able to lengthen and recover as quickly as possible. All right, so just nice and easy. Deep breaths in through the nose, deep breaths. Let yourself recover. I think that this can kind of be meditative because you're only focusing on how painful it is. <laughs> yeah. You're only focusing on how uncomfortable you feel. So you're not thinking about all the other garbage in your life, right? You're not thinking about other things stressing you out or anything like that. That's what meditation is about. Meditation is about being present in the moment. And in this kind of activity, you can't help but be right here kind of force it with totally. what you feel. So you're welcome. A little <laughs> session of meditation never hurt anyone. And that's how I hope you treat this session is, is with a little bit of time to just focus on your body. Right? A little bit of time just focus on relaxing. All right. Beautiful. Awesome. All right. Now let's come up onto um, the mat with... Uh, a little bit of stretch sequences that are my favorites. I think they're going to truly give your body the recovery that it needs. Some of these you might have done and some others might be new to you. Okay, so you're gonna start on your back, bringing one knee into the chest and you can keep one foot flat if that feels good or if you feel like you can add an extra extension of that leg, then press that bottom heel down and away while keeping one knee in towards your chest, okay? So you're just feeling a nice stretch through the hips, the glutes, the low back, and you're just holding it. I want you to take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Just one more. Beautiful. And then switch sides so you can bring one foot down, the other knee comes in, if you feel like your low back is comfortable in that space, just stay there, right? Just breathe it out, get your nice stretch. If you can extend the opposite leg, then you're getting even more of a stretch through that hip flexor. And so you can press that heel down and away and really open up the hips here. It's a little bit more of the advanced version. You do what feels good, right? But make sure that your low back doesn't feel like it's getting arched and it doesn't feel like it's being strained at all. It's really gonna help you kind of keep yourself in balance. Beautiful, a couple deep breaths in, breathe it out. This entire stretch and restore is going to truly replenish you, so keep focusing on your breath. Good, now I want you to bring both feet down and together, so your knees are gonna to come together, your feet are together. Pull your feet in a little bit, you know, so that they're kind of tight to your body. Bring your arms open to 90 degrees or straight out wide. And you're gonna let your knees roll and rock all the way over to the floor, as far as they'll go. Now, if you need to extend your legs a little bit, that'll make it a little bit easier. The closer they are to your body, the more of a stretch it's gonna feel. So if you gotta move your feet away from your body a little bit, that's okay. You're just getting a, a nice little twist here. 
right? So you're letting your hips rotate, your back is getting a stretch. When you take a deep breath, breathe it into the side of your body. <sighs> Exhale all that tension. Some of you might, your knees might not touch, right? Your feet might touch, but not your knees, and that's okay, right? That's okay. Whatever feels comfortable, you're just letting your knees roll to the side. So bring it back in, okay? So feet back together, right here. All right, you can have your feet longer or further away. You're just gonna let yourself twist. Oh. I said to the girls, we're gonna hear a lot of moaning and groaning, kind of <laughs> achy and shaky. This is the stuff that you wish you did more of, right? Totally. Yes. Beautiful. One more deep breath into the nose. And out the mouth. Oh, I love it. Now we're gonna come back here into this neutral position. Your knees are bent. You're gonna bring one ankle over the knee. So let's bring your right ankle over your left knee. Now in this same exact position, I want you to keep everything just as it is, except let your hips rotate, bringing the foot to the floor. So you're gonna bring your right foot down to the floor and you're getting that nice little twist through the hips, but now a stretch through the hip as well because you're in that figure four position. Now you're goal is to keep that knee pressed away from your body. You don't want it to cave in. That's might how it, that might be how it looks right now, but your goal is to be pressing it away from your body. The goal is that. So just do your best, right? It's not gonna look perfect. It's not gonna feel perfect. But as long as you're breathing and you're letting yourself try to ease into these stretches, you're gonna get better and better at these and it's gonna make your body feel healthier and more mobile each and every time you do it. Good. One more deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. And let's go back to neutral. So now your both feet are gonna to come to the floor. You're gonna cross your left ankle over the right knee. Open up the knee so you got a nice stretch. And now rotate your hips, bringing your foot down to the floor. Keep your knee as open as possible as you rotate. Good, and just holding it there. This is an entire routine that you, know, you should really think about doing pretty much any day of the week, but especially going through this entire routine at least once a week to give your body every necessary stretch to really keep it open, feeling restored, relaxed. These are things you always want to give to, you know, your parents or people that are like, oh my gosh, I haven't stretched in years. And they, they just need to start gaining some mobility in their body. This is exactly the where they need to start. All right, now I want you to come back to neutral. We're gonna come all the way up to a seated position. All right, now I want you for this one to have your legs straight out in front of your body, almost as if you're reaching towards those toes. You're feeling a nice hamstring stretch here, but we're gonna release the neck and traps, okay? So your hands are gonna come down to your side so that your arms are nice and long, and I want you to press the heel of your hand into the floor and tilt your head away from that arm and that shoulder. So you're going to be actively pressing the heel of that hand in towards the floor as you lengthen and just tilt the neck. And this hand is just kind of like supporting you, right? So you don't like push yourself over. <laughs> All right, so you're just here and you're lengthening. You might tilt your head a little bit forward or you might keep it to the side, but you should absolutely feel that. You guys feel that stretch? Yeah all the way through the neck and traps. I love this one. And at the same time, you're getting a nice stretch through those hamstrings. Let's switch sides. So you're pressing the heel of that hand, tilting the head away, taking deep breaths in. It's crazy because this side of my neck, my left side, is so tight. And then this side, I'm like, eh, I don't feel it. But you're still <laughs> getting it. So that is the key to really Extend, take those deep breaths. Wherever you're tighter, you're always gonna feel it more. One more deep breath.
Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that one. Now, the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our bath towels here. So they're long so that we have a lot of room here to wrap it around one foot. So you're gonna bring one foot in and you're gonna wrap that towel right around the base of the ball of the foot, all right? So your hips are square. You're gonna grab that towel sitting nice and upright. As you exhale, you're gonna pull yourself in and assist yourself on that seated stretch a little bit. So now I'm forcing you to keep your foot flexed, which is really hard and it's really gonna dig into that calf a lot more. A lot of people will sometimes have an, a kind of a pointed toe here. And flexing that foot is really gonna force you to extend. Good. And you can come out of that stretch a little bit. Maybe you're like, okay, I need a little moment, I need a little moment. And come out of that stretch for a second and then pull yourself back in. Really give yourself a nice assisted pull. Breathe into it, you got it. Focusing on you, focusing on your breath, trying to be present. And let's switch sides. Good, so you got both legs straight, hips are square, pull one knee in, bring the towel right around, pull it down, good, and pull yourself in. Uh, this one's tighter than the other one. <laughs> Good, so you can feel that difference in your body. You wanna to start to see that balance out. After a while, you're gonna to start to feel good release if you need to and come back into it. You're gonna feel yourself regain a little bit of that balance in your body and you're gonna feel more mobile and more flexible during your everyday activities. We're gonna go into a twisted move where we're gonna allow our spine to get that, like you get that ring of your spine and new blood flow goes through it. So you're gonna set your towel down to the side. We're gonna cross your left ankle over your right leg. You're gonna hug that left knee into your chest, right? And I want you to take that right arm, come behind your body if you can, and you're just gonna assist yourself in a little twist, right? So I'm hugging and I'm giving myself a little bit of an assistance from my backhand to give my nice little spinal twist here. And you don't have to go far, whatever feels comfortable. You could also stay right here, because a lot of times your hips right here might be super tight, and you might not be able to even get a twist in. So this hand might just be supporting you in a nice upright position. But if you can start to slowly creep that hand back, give yourself a little look behind. You're gonna work your way up to that nice spinal rotation. Breathing. And then we'll switch up, right? So come out of that nice and slow. You're gonna bring one ankle over the other, so you're bringing that right leg over the left leg, hug that right knee, Good, give yourself that twist, bring that arm up and over. Oh, yes. Think about straightening out your spine right now, right? So if you're, you're hunching at all, really try to open up your chest, lift tall as if somebody's got a, a string attached to your ponytail and they're raising it up towards the sky. <laughs> it's gonna elongate you, make you feel a little taller, right? Give me one more big inhale through the nose, breathe it all in. Let it out, beautiful. I love it. Now, we're gonna come over onto our hands and knees and we're gonna do a little stretch. So now, we're gonna really arch the spine. We're gonna pull those shoulder blades apart, get a nice extension between the shoulder blades, arching it up like a cat stretching in the morning, dropping the chin towards the chest, and then drop the belly, lift the head up a little bit. The, the muscles in the front of the spine get a nice extension. And let's just repeat that a few times. So you can inhale or exhale whenever you feel like you want to. You know, I personally feel like everyone's different with this one. You might not have a rhythm of your breath, just make sure that you're giving some nice deep breaths in. Mm, 
Up and down. It feels so good. Think about, like, yeah, I feel like you're like, think about you're massaging all of the muscles that align your spine. Giving them a little bit of a lengthening. Bringing fresh, fresh blood flow. And we're gonna go into a down dog walk. So we're here, we're gonna go into a downward dog, tuck the toes, lift the knees, press the hips up towards the sky, and your legs are gonna be gently bent at first, right? Because you know you're a little tight, you're a little elongated. We're gonna go one at a time, pressing one heel towards the floor, bending the opposite knee, and we're just gonna kinda walk that dog. Lengthen out one leg, feeling a calf stretch here. You really get a good calf stretch, and hamstring stretch, going back and forth, nice and long. If a down dog felt too difficult, you could do this against the wall, kind of just like leaning against the wall and pressing your heels back into a calf stretch, right? You don't have to be down dog version, but really lengthen out the calves here. That's the most important thing. Our calves get so tight during all those balance moves and squat moves and lunges and shuffles and all that stuff. Jumping jacks. Good. And relax, coming down from that down dog. You guys feeling good? Yes. yes. All right, we're gonna come into a kneeling hip flexor stretch. So you've done this one before, but now I want you to do a little passive version where you got one foot up. You're gonna have your hands just a little bit in front of that knee or a little bit in front of that toe. And you're gonna keep your back knee down and just allow your hips to sink towards the floor. Okay, breathe into your hips here. Take a nice deep breath. Think about your hips just relaxing, sinking further and further towards the floor. Let your hips really relax. We can add a little bit of a, of a twist here if we want, opening the chest up towards the sky. But if you don't feel like giving it that twist, just stay right where you are. That just tends to open up the hip even a little bit more. Bring it in. Always thinking about, too, where you feel most tight, where you feel most, you know, like, tension. And that way, next time you do it, you can see if there's a difference. Good, let's switch up sides. Ooh, I needed that one. I know, I'm like, oh, crickety, crickety, crick. <laughs> Good, hands come down, knee is down. Good, we're just holding that nice extension, let the hips sink towards the floor. Breathing it out. You can add a twist if you want to. Feel a nice stretch. Sometimes my body really resists these twisting motions. <laughs> it says, what are you doing to me? That's what my Good. body is saying. Bring your hands back <laughs> down. Yeah, and you can finish off with this passive stretch, just opening it up. Breathing. You guys are doing great. Now, we're gonna come on to our side and we're gonna do a line quad stretch. So I want you to lay all the way down on your side as if you're getting ready for a nap. All right, you're gonna <laughs> cradle your head here and you're gonna grab the, the foot, bringing the heel up towards the glute. Now, I've got both knees bent so that I'm not gonna like fall backwards or anything like that. So you can keep this knee a little bit in front and keep this leg trying to think of creating a straight line all the way from your, your hip all the way down to your knee. And if you can get that heel close to your glute, great. Right, so normally we do this one stretching, uh, I mean standing, but today I just want you to kind of relax into this one. Allow yourself to get a little bit of that release. Some people also, they like to add a little bit of the IT band, so they might bring that knee or that ankle up over that knee and depress the leg. And that's not necessarily something you need to do, but it's an option, right? So just breathe it out. Enjoy that stretch. Good. And relax. Now, you can probably just roll over. I'm gonna switch sides so that you can still see me and hear me. 
rolling it all the way down, caress that head, feel nice and relaxed. If you're not doing this stretch just watching TV, then why not, right? You can do this one watching television, you can do this one just to feel like you need that little bit of release through the front of the legs. You don't always have to be doing it trying to balance on your feet. Take nice deep breaths in. Think about breathing into that front of the leg, front of the body. And your goal really, it should be to get that heel all the way to the glute, you know, working towards that type of flexibility. Beautiful. Now these last couple stretches we're gonna do with the towel, all right? So go ahead and release that leg. Oh my gosh, that feels good. Yeah. <laughs> and I want you to come all the way up onto your feet. Grab your long towel. And we're gonna do a chest opener here. So upper body needs just as much love as the lower body, okay? So you're gonna take a wide grip with this, but not so wide as to letting yourself go all the way behind your back. You wanna be able to bring your hands a little bit behind the head. So you can see my arms are just a little past my head, but not all the way. If I, if I lose it all the way, I might go all the way down. And I, I wanna actually hold the stretch where I feel the tension. You wanna feel the tension like, oh, I can't go any further. Cause then you're getting a real big chest and shoulder opener, yeah? Feel it. Yeah. yeah. All right, you can have Feels a nice, nice soft bend or you can have the arms straight, whatever you want. If you have your arms straight, you're like, whoa, shoulders, like give me that. If you bend your <laughs> elbows a little bit, you might feel a little bit even more through your chest. Breathe it out. Now for here, I'm going to have you drop your left arm and bring your right up over behind the back. Now I'm going to come underneath with my left and I'm going to walk my hands as close as I can using that towel. Because right? we're just going to kind of hold it here. One arm is getting a big stretch upward and the other one upside down. You guys feel that? Yeah. Now if you wanted to, you could kind of pull with the up upward you could kind of pull this shoulder into a little bit more stretch and then you could pull down with the bottom arm and so you can go up and down or you can just hold it right you can just hold it here beautiful all right let's go right back up so you're going to go back into that shoulder stretch so that we can repeat it on the other side and we can work the arms in the opposite direction so you're here you're getting that nice shoulder opener Remember, you're just beyond the head, so you're not too far back. You want to be safe with those shoulders. Then you're going to drop it, one arm, and then come underneath with the opposite arm, and you're going to walk it closer. Now, you might not get as close on one side, which is totally normal, but try to keep your upright posture. Try not to start hunching forward, because that tends to happen, right, when you're tight. This whole shoulder girdle is getting a big stretch. Lots of muscles you probably didn't know you had. Because <laughs> usually you're like, wait, wait, ah, this is tough. But that's why you have a towel so that you can go further apart and you can slowly start to crawl those hands closer together. Breathing it out. Oh, and relax. That should feel like kind of numbing, kind of tingly, because your muscles are just saying, thank you. All right, now you're gonna go up and over the head and your legs are gonna be wide. We're gonna do a side bend. So I'm gonna have you open up to one side and you're gonna kind of shift your hips to the same side that you, that you rotate, bringing the towel across the top of the body and you're getting the big stretch through the side that you're stretching away from, okay? So the towel is there to just kind of make you pull a little bit, but you don't wanna go too far and then switch sides. Open the other side. I kind of shift my hips just to create a balance so that I don't feel like I'm gonna fall over. Cause you don't wanna feel like you're gonna fall over. You kind of give your hips a little bit of support here. Cause you're getting a big stretch through your lats and through your obliques and through your sides. And when you're doing a lot of this plank work, go ahead and switch one more time each side. When you're doing a lot of plank work and you're doing a lot of shoulder work, you wanna make sure that you're getting the lateral stretches you deserve because you're working a lot of lateral muscle groups. Good, and now I'm gonna have you take 
three deep breaths with us, okay? This is going to be where you repeat a mantra that empowers you to keep going, to keep giving yourself this treatment of strength and conditioning and health. Ready? So inhale. Exhale. Repeat that mantra. One more. My mantra was love because that's what I feel every time I press play, every time I show up for myself. I hope you have a strong mantra for yourself this week. We'll see you next workout.